Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Purposeful Powerhouse Podcast. Hey, do you find it challenging sometimes to be consistent with your morning routine? Do you find that you kind of have a stop-start situation going on and you want to make it a non-negotiable? You want it to be foundational in your life and in your business? Well, today we're going to be talking about some simple things that might be tripping you up with your morning routine and making it difficult to stick with it as a habit so that you can begin to shift them and really make this a rock solid start to your day every day in a way that you love and look forward to. And speaking of that, have you registered for the Strut Through Summer brainstorming session yet? It's happening on Thursday, May 23rd. It's totally free. And what we're going to be doing in this live and interactive session is helping you to map out your own personalized plan for summer so you're strutting through it, feeling strong and sexy and staying sane staying sane, right? That's, you know, what this is a big part of this about is navigating the challenges of life, regardless of what the temperature is outside, but knowing that you are showing up for yourself first and foremost, so that you can show up in alignment as your favorite self in everything that you're doing in your life and your business. So make sure to grab your spot for that. And if you happen to be listening to this in the future past May 23rd, check out the link because you never know what I got going on and it'd be really fun for you to join us for whatever we have going on in the future. But if you listen to this ahead of May 23rd, make sure to grab your spot because it's going to be super amazing, help you to streamline your self-care over the summertime to 30 minutes or less as part of your, you guessed it, morning routine. So Let's talk about these simple fixes that you can begin to make or refine if you're already doing them. And that way you can really up your game as far as your morning routine. And if you've been struggling to stick with this habit and you really want to shift that, then really pay attention and make some notes because this will give you a little bit of a roadmap or recipe to follow to make sure that it's shifting. Okay, so first things first. Are you drinking water first thing in the morning? Unless you are some sort of nighttime water consumer, which some people drink a big glug of water in the middle of the night, most people don't, which means you're waking up slightly dehydrated. And because your body relies so much on that level of hydration, and if you are even just slightly dehydrated, you can feel brain fog, you can feel muscle tension, you might feel a bit sluggish. So let's shift that by drinking a big glass of water first thing in the morning. And why not up the ante by adding in some magical ingredients that you very likely already have at your house. So most of us, you know, especially if you live in a warm climate and especially we get into the summer, we tend to be slightly dehydrated. So add in a sprinkle. I'm not talking like make it into salt water, but just a sprinkle of Himalayan salt or rock salt or whatever you have available to you because there are so many electrolytes in that. And especially if you're using Himalayan salt, there's all sorts of other vitamins and minerals. Squeeze in some citrus, right? Orange, grapefruit, lemon, lime, whatever you like, because that burst of vitamin C is so powerful. And this is something that is really kind of hit or miss. You might add a splash of apple cider vinegar into it. I know that might be a lot. So, you know, add to whatever feels good to you. But we're, what we're doing there is making it into a bit of an adrenal cocktail because there's so many vitamins and minerals in the apple cider vinegar. It helps to shift your body to a more alkaline state. The electrolytes in all of those are very important as well. So drink some water first thing in the morning because you may feel that sort of like draggy feeling just because you're a little bit dehydrated, right? It also, you know, the quality of your sleep, but having a morning routine and exercising more consistently will actually benefit your sleep and your stress levels. And so it's a beautiful cycle. Okay. So that's the first one. Make sure to drink water. Second one, a lot of people overcomplicate their morning routine because especially first thing in the morning, you know, if you feel like, oh, well, Megan told me I have these five pillars of physical vitality. I'm supposed to be getting all these things. So I'm meant to be doing strength training and flexibility and core work and cardio and balance. And how do I do that in the morning? I don't know. I can't even think. I don't even know my own name. Don't overcomplicate it right? You may already know the pillars of an amplified morning routine do something that aligns your mind with your vision. So that's some sort of meditation, journaling, tapping, something that really centers your mind so that you can 
be living with the end in mind. You can be living into that, that version of yourself that already exists and you can tap into that guidance. So align your mind. Second piece, move your body, right? You have a body, move it, exercise, yoga, dance, tai chi, gardening, whatever it is for you, get your blood flowing. And the third part of your AMR, Amplified Morning Routine, AMR, is to repeat your power statements. So from the version of you that lives in the vision, what are some affirmations that you can really embody by anchoring into that elevated emotional state and creating that essence within yourself as you repeat them to yourself? I am a powerful being co-creating with the universe. I am valuable. I am here to make a difference. I am impactful. Whatever it is, Repeat those statements as you are moving your body so that you're really fully embodying them. Don't overcomplicate it, right? And that's another component is it doesn't have to be the same every day. That's really, you know, let's just flow with that because it doesn't have to be the same every day. It doesn't have to be somebody else's. You know, if you don't like those pillars of the AMR, skip it, leave it out, whatever. I'm not tied to it. It's just a suggestion. And so how can you simplify this? but still make it really effective and also efficient because this stuff is important, but I also know you don't have all day or maybe you do, but how can you make it really efficient? So how can you repeat the power statements while you do when you all squats or whatever, right? Like I want you to streamline this as much as possible. We're definitely going to be leaning into that at strut through summer. So make sure to grab your spot. Okay. So it kind of rolled a couple of them into one there. Um, so not overcomplicating it and make sure to kind of go with the flow, right? Literally, as a woman, you may need to shift what you're doing in the morning based on where you're at in your cycle. OK, and then the other thing that I want you to really tune into is. Wait to check your social media until you're done. We all know what it feels like to open up your social and have a troll comment or have somebody in your community have sent you a message and it just catapults you off into work mode and gets your head going or maybe gets you in a spin about something or maybe you get triggered. So please wait. I know maybe sometimes you need to check your email or whatever or check your text, but as much as you can hold that sacred container for yourself, as much as you can Wait until you have dedicated and given yourself that intentional time to check social media. That way, as much time as you can give, the better. Because that way, you're ready. You're primed. You're in your body. You're grounded. You're centered. You're able to show up as your purposeful powerhouse self to that conversation, right? You're not in the foggy head of like, oh no, this person can't log into the thing and they forgot their password. Oh, I should go do that now. It's really creating a boundary for yourself. And that way you are intentionally showing up from that place of connected awareness. You're showing up as yourself, okay? As your true self. So those are some of the things that you can begin to shift. And it's really important, and that's why the key, first key pillar of an amplified morning routine is to align your mind with your vision. A lot of times people have not synced up their morning routine with your vision, and that can make it something that eh, gets a little bit flippant, right? And we can easily justify not doing it if you haven't realized how impactful it is for the realization and the full expression and achievement of your vision because the way you show up is so impactful in what you do and how you do it right because it affects your nervous system which then affects your communication how people read you etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. and so what i want you to do is spend some time connecting to your vision and to your goals what is the desired outcome what is the finish line that you have set for yourself and how can you begin to Use your morning routine to activate that version of yourself, to be intentional with aligning to that so that you're showing up from that place. You're not just showing up, you know, haphazardly. You're doing these intentional things first thing in the morning so that you are fully expressed as that version of you that you see and you feel in the vision. Because when you go to your vision, I want you to think about like, you know, say you have a goal of creating a new membership for your clients, 
And what I want you to think about is how do you want people to feel inside that membership? How do you want them to feel inside that community? What are some of the impacts that it has for them? And that's what we want to really get into alignment with because how you want them to feel is how you want to show up when you're creating the content, when you're making the invitation, when you're doing the webinar, whatever it is, right? So that's the like attracts like of the law of attraction. And it's also the the law of assumption because when you assume that feeling of the wish fulfilled, like assume the feeling of that desired outcome, you become an energetic match for it, right? And so that's the law of assumption. And so that's the embodying the frequency of the desired outcome. And so that's why the the feeling of the future or the frequency of the future is why you really want to sit in that energy and align your mind to it. And that way, what you're doing there is you're not only doing the morning routine because it helps to boost your productivity and your focus and your joy, and it makes you feel good. And it helps you not be a crazy scatterbrain all day. <clears throat> Me. <laughs> you're doing it because it moves you closer to your vision as well right? Because you get benefit from it, from the level of your own physical body, your emotional health, your mental clarity, all of those things, a regulated nervous system, all of that is a beautiful gift and why it hopefully will become non-negotiable. But when you align it with your vision and you use it to get into the vibe of your vision and tap into your North Star emotions, then it really gives it that extra layer of depth, and that extra layer of gift, not just for the people that you're going to be able to serve, but also for the future version of yourself, also for the realization and the celebration of owning how powerful you are. And that's a purposeful powerhouse and that's showing up on purpose, right? And using your intention and using that decision of how you're going to spend that time in the morning with that really powerful intention of doing it for yourself now, but also doing it for the future version of yourself that you're becoming, right? So hopefully that makes sense. So we want to align it with the vision. And then another thing is, you know, that can kind of derail our progress is not having accountability. Some people are intrinsically motivated, right? You make a decision and you follow through on it because you made that decision and that's what you're going to do. Other people are more externally motivated and we need that level of telling somebody else that you're going to do it and then having them or you checking in with them, right? And so it's all good. It's neither way is better than the other. It's just we're all wired a little bit differently, right? There's so many overlaps between us and we are all unique and we want to celebrate that uniqueness. But learn that about yourself. Are you able to just do it because you decided to do it? Or do you like have some, do you like having some sort of tracking? device, you know, something as simple, which we do in the Rise and Vibe community is I give everyone a month calendar. And every time they do their Rise and Vibe session, whether it's with us live, or on their own using the recording or on their own, just using what they learned in the sessions, then they celebrate themselves, they put a mark on that, right, they put a little gold star on it, or they, you know, write Rise and Vibe or whatever, and just having some sort of tracking. Because what we track, we can improve, right? What we measure, we can grow. And so it's just a beautiful way to celebrate yourself and really see how that's going for you, right? And it's so simple. It's so simple, right? But it's having that that connection to your vision and your desired outcome of how you want to feel and how you want to show up and having that measurable sense of the personal accountability. And so inside Rise and Vibe, the, the community is that as well for people. And that's super fun because it's it's that sense of celebration and, and seeing how it trickles out into other areas of people's lives. And it's just really beautiful to see. So that's really having that level of accountability, whether that is with a personal trainer or with yourself or having an accountability buddy or having a community like Rise and Vibe to support you then it all really supports your vision and your goals and helps you to feel strong, to feel grounded so that you're showing up by doing these things to use your mind like the powerful tool and think on purpose, keep your body strong and healthy so that you are moving it on purpose and breathing on purpose to really stay in that state of 
connected awareness, stay in that state of regulation, of expansion and creativity that comes from when you are having these intentional practices. So hopefully there was some nuggets in there. Maybe you are noticing that quite a few of those were some things that you can implement, or maybe you're like, check, check, check. I got it all covered. Gold star to you. Either way, gold star. Everybody gets a gold star because you're listening and you're here and you're curious and that's really beautiful. So hopefully you got some inspiration. I would love to know what landed for you. So feel free to send me a DM and I hope that you can begin to integrate that into your life and your world because morning routines are literally the most powerful way for you to make yourself and your health a priority by doing it first, getting it done, and really beautifully gifting yourself that time and attention and love, right? Because it's so easy for us to pour into others, especially as purpose-driven humans and entrepreneurs and people that want to be of service, want to share. It can be really easy for us to give to others and sometimes challenging to give to ourselves. And self-care is not selfish. Self-care is a necessity. It has an incredible ROE, right? Return on energy, because when you feed your own energy in this beautiful, natural, holistic way, it supports how you show up. It supports the decisions you make, the actions you take, which then affects the results that you attract into your life, which then, of course, supports your sustainability in business, because you're supported on the level of your mind, your body, and your spirit, and you're not running yourself ragged and burning the candle on every end. So, I would love for you to join us at Strut Through Summer. Again, it's happening on May 23rd, live and interactive brainstorming session, totally free. You will leave with a personalized plan to help you to streamline your summer self-care in just 30 minutes or less a day because when you have these tools, you can integrate all of this and make it really effective and efficient, but also really fun, right? Summer's meant to be fun and playful, so let's make it fun and playful. So make sure to grab your spot for free, and thank you for being here. Thank you for being your amazing self out in the world. I am so proud of you. Gold stars all around, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.